Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening. This is the 13th video of this Java series. In this video, I'll show you constructors, setters, and getters, and how they work. So a constructor is a type of method that will fill in variables when an object is created. When we created objects before, it would leave variables empty. A constructor allows us to pass data to the object right when it is created, and fill in those variables right when they are created. So let's get to writing a constructor for a new class. It's exactly like using a method with parameters, just instead we will not have to call any method when using these. You just need to add in the information that you want plugged in to that particular constructor. So I've created a person Java class. If you want to go ahead and create a new file and then start it off with this type in. And what we're going to start with is a few instance variables. We want to say private string and we'll give it a name and we'll just set that to unknown unknown and we will give it a private integer called age and we'll set that to zero and we'll set another string for gender and we'll say that is set to unknown as well Okay. <clears throat> Notice how I've added private to the beginning of each variable. This compartmentalizes the data. Only this object will be able to change or display the data it has. Therefore, you would not be able to access the variables outside of creating an object. We'll use setter and getter methods to get the data or change it. Now, let's create a constructor for the class. Just like a method, we would type out public person parentheses and the curly brackets. And inside the parentheses, let's just pass it, uh, pass it in a string. And we'll call it new name. Now inside of the constructor, we'll say we want to set name equal to new name. So it will take this string that we're passing in and then just plug it into the name variable for the class. Okay. Now we should write a couple of other methods known as getters and setters. We'll start with the set name. Public void set name. And inside the parentheses we'll say it takes in a string called new name as well. Curly brackets. And just like we did in the constructor we will say that name equals new name. Okay. Now another uh, method that we need to write for the name variable is the getter. So we'll say public and this time we'll tell it string get name and open parentheses. Nothing in the parentheses. And we'll tell it to return name. So because we were, are returning a variable, we change the void to say string. This tells the method that it was going to return a string. And then the return word, keyword, will return the variable that we specify. Okay? So go ahead and type out the other setters and getters for age and gender. I'll give you a few minutes to do that if you want to pause the video here. Otherwise, um, I'll start filling those out and you can see how it's done. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So either if you've done it on your own or if you just continued the video, I'll show you how I would do this. So I'm just going to do a copy and paste this twice. Okay. So we have the name. We're going to change this to age tell it to accept an integer called oops tell it to accept an integer called new age and we want to set this to new age and age okay and this time we want to change public string to public integer and we want to tell it that this is an age and we want it to return age then we're going to set change the uh, set name to set gender tell it we wanted to accept a new gender change this to gender 
and change this to gender. And then we can just change the last getter for our get name to get gender. And we want it to return a gender. Okay, so now we have all the setters and getters for all the variables that we have typed in. So now let's write another method called public void, um, and we'll just call it person display. And this method is just going to print out all the information that we have plugged in. So we'll just say um, system.out.println, and we'll say name space colon. And inside, we want to say um, get name, open parentheses, system.out.println, age, plus get age. And the last one, whoops, system.out.println, we want it to get uh, the gender. Let's get gender. Make sure you have all your parentheses lined up because this get this will look a little tricky here. So you will have one open and then two closing at the end. Make sure they all match up. Um, one more thing we should add in. Let's just add in a simple system dot out dot print line at the top. Or actually, let's add it to the bottom. This will format the print a bit so that if you do multiple tr prints it will put in a blank line between them and make it a little bit easier to read. Alright, so now we have a constructor, a simple constructor, setters and getters for each individual variable and then we have a display command. Alright, so let's go back to our main main class. You might need to create this one and inside we are going to create an object we'll create the person object. So person, and we'll just call it Bob OBJ equals new person. Okay. And inside of those parentheses, let's use our new constructor. We'll just say Robert. We'll say Bob's first name is Robert. Okay. Now, once we have that in, we can actually use the print command that we created. So bomb obj dot person display open and closing parentheses and let's go ahead oh before we do that let's make sure we compile our second class. We need to make sure that, that class file is generated and then go back to your main class here and we can run that and then we get name Robert, age zero, gender unknown. So now let's use some of our setters and getters, or just our setters actually, to set the age. And we'll just say he's 37. And we will set his gender to male. Okay. And then once again, we'll do another print command, person display, and we'll run that. Notice now we have a Robert, His he is 37 years old, and he has a male. All right. Now, another way we can do this, we can actually create multiple constructors for the same object. So let's go ahead and copy this up here. Paste that. And let's say we want to add in the age and the gender. Make sure we set these to new age and new gender. It can get a little confusing. Okay, so we will set age equals new age and gender equals new gender. So now we have two different constructors. This is known as overloading. So that way, 
if you throw in just the name, it'll create an object with just the name, or you can plug in all the data and get a object with all the data, or you can pick and choose which data you want to um, have added. So let's say you just wanted to add the name and the gender, or just wanted to um, add the age or whatnot, you can create multiple constructors for the same object. So let's go back to our main class again, and we'll create a new object. We'll call it Sally OBJ equals new person, and we'll fill in all of her information. We'll say her name is Sally, she is 27, and she is a female. We'll run that again. Oh, we didn't do the print command. We'll run that one more time, but let's add in the um, print command for her. Sally OBJ dot person display. And run that again. So then we get Sally 27 and female. So all the information is being plugged in. And then if we really wanted to, we can um, change that information by using the set the setter. And we just want to say that she lied. She said she was 27, but she's actually another age. We'll say she's 32. And then again, we'll tell it to print out her information again. Person display. Run that again. So now we've changed her 27 to a 32. OK. All right, so the term for using multiple constructors is called overloading, so that you can create multiple constructors for the same object, depending on what information you want added into the object when it's created. Um, but when you do create constructors, you need to make sure that the data that you're passing in fits the same pattern that you're specifying. Otherwise, it will just um, error out. You can, however, create multiple constructors as it, with the data in multiple positions. So you can start it with int, uh, the new age, you can start it with the gender, you start it with the name, and you can just switch them all around to get all the possible combinations if you're worried about an error, um, a user erroring out the class. So that's pretty much it for constructors, setters, and getters. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.